Pestis. Originally released in May of 2018 through indie developer Didemore Studio Games and publisher Lausch Studio, is a short game about a plague doctor. Defined as a serious, sometimes fatal infection of rodents, the term pestis really tells you all you need to know about this little game. Set in the Middle Ages during the Black Death, pestis presents the player with a very simple tutorial. Combine the herbs to cure the infected villagers, ensure that you collect plenty of mushrooms to maintain your own health and reduce infection when necessary, and alongside blowing up their nests with herb bombs, stomp the rats into absolute fucking oblivion. And as far as the gameplay goes, that's pretty much it. When I tell you that this game is short, I really mean it. There's about as much runtime here as your average PlayStation 1 demo disc, with the entire game really only consisting of one map, minus the tutorial, that'll keep you busy for around 20 to 30 minutes per run. And considering that I bought the game on sale for the stupidly cheap value of 40 pence, that's not at all an unreasonable amount of gameplay for the price of a small chocolate bar. So. Why am I talking about it when there's really not much here? Well, I kinda like this game. Visually, Pestis presents a really gloomy atmosphere through its art style, which mostly leans on murky, desaturated browns, greys and greens, and the constant sounds of coughing and retching combined with the Metro-esque soundtrack really adds to the game's mood. It's appropriately miserable for a title set during a time that most would probably agree was outstandingly unpleasant. As for the game's character and environmental assets, they're visually unremarkable and even somewhat blurry, but in a way that actually seems fitting for the purposely dull visual design, although the fact that every villager is exactly the same feels a little lazy. For one, having some variety in clothing, age or gender would have been helpful in remembering who has been already cured, and since this is literally the primary and only gameplay loop of this very brief title, it seems short-sighted to not consider this. Indeed, much of the gameplay centres on combining minimal strategy with minimal resource management. You need to ensure that you are always collecting herbs, otherwise journeying to another section of the map to identify which herbs are needed to cure a villager before the plague then inevitably kills them is borderline pointless. Although thankfully the herbs do also regrow after a few minutes, and there are plenty of them around, so you won't be scavenging for long, but making sure that you are always consistently collecting them so that the villagers are cured in time is important. To be honest, it's unlikely that you're going to do well on your first or second round, but after familiarising yourself with the mechanics and the map layout, you'll do far better. It's quite common for a sudden wave of deaths to occur, with up to 3-4 to four at a time being announced by the toll of the bell if you've neglected a certain area for too long. A dead body also results in a more potent gas hovering around the poor soul's corpse, which if you do then come into contact with will then raise your infection bar at a far more aggressive rate than the regular coughing of sickly villagers. And like I said, that's pretty much it. Pestis is a title that will probably only keep you occupied for an hour or two at best, but considering how damn cheap it is most of the time, I really can't complain. I appreciate the visual style and the game's attempt to do something a little bit different, but there's no denying that Pestis feels like the starting point or demo to a far larger idea, which when considering that it is well over two years old, is probably never going to happen. Still, it's cheap and cheerful. If you spot it on sale, dropping next to nothing on this game for the sake of a few hours gameplay is hardly the worst decision in the world, as long as you enjoy it for what it is, instead of what you'd like it to be. I certainly can't say that I regretted buying Pestis, so fuck it. Go play this game.